Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some poppy popcorn. If you follow the channel for a long time, you know that we have reviewed poppy popcorn in the past, and we have always been very impressed mm -hmm. with it. It's actually made our favorites video. Uh, you, we do a favorites video at the end of every month, and, and there's been months where it has definitely uh, made an appearance in there. So, uh, today we're gonna be trying the Cheese Lovers. The honey barbecue of dark chocolate pretzel, and this is the spring confetti. These were sent to us from Asthma <laughs> in Ohio. You can keep them over there if you want. And um, I will link, uh, to, well, I, what I will do is give you Asthma's number to her store. So you can call her store in Ohio. And if you are thinking about uh, trying poppy ordering or any other items from Ohio that you can think of, any other foods. Give her a call. Ask her if she's heard of it. She might be able to get hook you up. So it's worth asking. Uh, these uh, cheese lovers, it's white cheddar, pimento, and Parmesan pepper. Cheese addicts, this one's for you. Our delicious Parmesan and black pepper pimento cheese and white cheddar popcorn mixed together for the ultimate savory trio. One cup is 60 calories, and there's five servings in the package. Is it a resealable bag? It is a resealable yeah. bag. These are made in Asheville, North Carolina. It looks like it's a mixture. Uh huh. Okay. You probably said that. I wasn't listening. It's very, 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 very light. Oh, jeez. Mm hmm. I don't get a lot of cheese butter. Do you know what this reminds me of? You're going to think I'm so weird. Hmm. If you eat one that's fully like orange, like one of these, you do get the flavor, but the white ones, I don't taste anything. I like it, but it is very, very light. Mm -hmm. um, and it's softer popcorn. It is. It's got a, you would almost say stale, but it's not quite that tough. Maybe it's the seasonings. But this reminds me of when I make pumpkin seeds mm -hmm. and I roast them in the oven. Yeah. I guess it's the seasonings there, remind me there of is, pumpkin seeds. I get seeds. a little bit of like a garlic flavor with mm -hmm. these. I, that must be what it is. Yeah, it's because, a, I agree with you. I do kind of get that aftertaste. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you not only get cheese, but you, you do. Uh, to me, there is a garlic, there's mm -hmm. salt. I do like the flavor, but... I like them too, but it's very light. It is a very, very yeah. light cheese. If you're yeah. looking for a cheese popcorn, you're kind of going to be disappointed, honestly. Yes, because we've had some that is, is stronger cheese mm -hmm. than that. It's good, but not Good, really but not strong. Okay, this is Honey Barbecue. It says uh, gluten-free, dairy-free, it's sweet, it says. The perfect blend of smoky spices and sweet honey. Add that to fluffy, crunchy kernels, and you've got a perfectly caramelized barbecue taste. Uh, this flavor has a cult following for a reason. One cup of this is 80 calories. So I think that was only 60. 60. So this is 80. Now this, there's a, orange. a yes. Yeah. That yeah, one, yeah. yeah. That even has a little, right there has a little, like thick brown part on it. That it's reminds me of Grippos. <laughs> um, no. It's not spicy like Grippos. <laughs> I was exactly <gonna> no. <laughs> not the spicy part, just the barbecue part. Just the, the I sweet know. barbecue part. Yes, yeah. because Grippos comes in with heat. It's not like that. Okay. As far as the barbecue portion, that's what it reminds me of. A little bit. It's not. It's not nearly as strong though. It's, mm -mm. it's no. very very light. But you do get a stronger flavor with those and the cheese, but it's still not a very strong flavor. No, it's not aggressive. Yeah. Now, if you get one, like I got one that had a lot of powder on it, mm -hmm. like super powder, um, like it got caught in the middle or something, it was really strong. Those are the best pieces. Those are the best pieces. That's why I wish all of them were light. I do too. But, um, um, yeah. but the regular pieces are very light. I like mean, super, 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 super coated. Yeah, sometimes you'll get them like in the have a little pocket. When the seasoning gets inside the little, the little hole there, Those are definitely it's really, really good. the best ones, yes. So, I do like this flavor a lot, too. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, so out of these two, do you like the cheese? Or I'd the probably get the barbecue just because it is a little bit stronger. I think I would too because yeah. because it's stronger. But honestly, I do like I the like bow. the cheese. Mm -hmm. I like the cheese if you like a little bit of a, just a touch of garlic. Now this is dark chocolate pretzel, our famous salted caramel popcorn, which we love, drizzled with French broad chocolate, craft chocolate, and caramelized pretzels. And you have the cure, the cure for all those sweet and salty cravings. Three fourths cup, 43 grams is 160 calories. And there's about seven servings in the container. Yeah, they're, what we fell in love with with this company at first was the coated popcorn. Yes. So this literally has oh, pretzels. Yeah. Have to dig you out of it. Make this it's right here at, top, at the top. Nice crunchy texture. Mm -hmm. You get the chocolate flavor. Get the pretzel flavor, of course. Mm. You definitely get that darker chocolate flavor. I love the texture. Mm -hmm. The texture, you're, it's crunchy, but it's not hard. Mm. And it's not like glassy, like, candy but your teeth sink through it and you really get um there's a chew but it's a, a little bit chewy, but it's it? a crunchy chew so it's not really like a it's not chewy it's a crunchy chew mm -hmm. um that is so delicious it's very good the dark chocolate does come through a little bit so you get a little bit of that darker chocolate bitterness but not a lot and when i got the pretzel it was much stronger i'd say you're supposed to eat a pretzel with the popcorn however there's, there's no pretzels at the top of this bag yeah. and it's the bags are so skinny yeah, you that you can't. i have big hands it. i have good size hands <laughs> and oh, here's one Okay, because I don't want to stick my hand down in a bag full of the chocolate, but... No, I think you just got to sear and shake it. I think all the pretzels went to the bottom. Yeah, and it, it's hard to get your hand out of that skinny little bag. Yeah, yeah, I think they're definitely heavier so, when they went down. Yeah. So you so, have to almost dump them out of a bowl. Mm -hmm, yeah, to be able to get one, uh, to the pretzel and the chocolate. I do love that, that caramel popcorn. Yeah, is just it's very, very good. And, and especially if you like it, so touch it dark, then dark chocolate is very nice. Yes. Uh, this is called the spring confetti, the spring confetti, and it is caramel, chocolate, pretzels, and M&M's. I wonder if I could, because you know all those M&M's, where they went. Straight to the bottom. Okay. And that may or may not have helped. It may or may not have helped. <laughs> Who knew popcorn could be this pretty? Our famous salted caramel popcorn with caramelized pretzels drizzled in dark and white chocolate and sprinkled with pastel M&Ms. It's sweet, salty, chocolatey, and delicious. Three-fourths cups is 170 calories. So this has white chocolate and dark chocolate? White and dark, yes. And there is a pretzel. Oh, the m and I saw- Sometimes some, they're stuck. I saw one stuck, but I bet you they're on the bottom. Yeah, I am literally, not saying, ah, oh, wait, here's one more pretzel. Good. But I'm not seeing one M&M on the top whatsoever. So they must all have gone to the bottom. That's that's kind of what I thought. So am I going to be able to get a bite with an M&M? Did Definitely. you get a bite with an M&M? No, but it's okay. Yeah, but that's what we're trying it for. It's to get the M&M. Um, I like the popcorn with the chocolate, I really do. But I don't care anything, but I mean, the pretzels are fine. Do you one? But I would just assume- Try that. that. I would just assume have the popcorn and the M&M's. I leave the pretzels out. When you get one, oh look, my m and was stuck to the pretzel. <laughs> Definitely get that m and chocolate. Taste, yes. Yeah, like I said, they could leave out the pretzels completely, although they are better with the white and dark chocolate than they are with just the dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. You still get a little bit of a dark flavor, but, but it's mostly the sweet flavor. My only thing is, is that M&Ms are few and far between. Yeah, they didn't put a lot in there. They didn't put a ton in there. Unless they literally all went to the very bottom, which I mean, who knows? Because um, when you're sitting here eating this, 
you're gonna be eating it like we are, just putting your hand down in the bag, you're really not gonna want to. Or dump it out in a bowl. You, That's what yeah, I would recommend, the just dump it out in a bowl. Yes, dump it out on a bowl or a paper plate. I did grab you some M&Ms, so I did stack the deck. I did put this in the picture uh, because I truly think they've all gone down to the bottom. I like the, that though, the addition of the M&Ms because mm -hmm. you really do get that M&M chocolate flavor. Yeah, when you get one, it's really good. I just wish there was more stuck on the pieces yeah. so that so that you could eat it out of the bag and you wouldn't have to dump it out. Because mm -hmm. I think to get the true experience, you're going to have to, like Kevin said, you're going to have to dump this out in the bottle. Mm -hmm. But I mean, lots of people eat like movie theater popcorn and dump M&M's in it. Dump it out. Yeah. But they all sink to the bottom after, mm -hmm. <laughs> after yeah. a minute, so. That just happens, that's yeah. just natural. Yeah, I can't expect them to be stuck mm -hmm. on every piece. I do really like that mixture though. I like that mixture better than the dark chocolate one, just because the dark chocolate's not as strong. Um, uh, out of those two, I'm gonna pick the spring mix yeah. too. I really, uh, those M&M's add so much, but they're both good. Mm -hmm. Um. So, yeah, I, I still think this is a really great brand popcorn. Mm -hmm. I, I still, I think the uh, the salted caramel. Is salted still, caramel is by far the best. It's still the best. best flavor. It comes, the bag looks like this, except it's red. It's a red bag. So, uh, that to me is still the very, very best. But uh, they make a lot of other flavors mm -hmm. that we've enjoyed quite a bit on the channel. Uh, so, thank you to Asma for sending these to us. Like I said, I will put her number in the description below. If you order something from her, I won't know anything about it, but Asma just provided us with these to try. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.